Hey Profit fans, and welcome to my second pack opening video. Now, I'm also sent from StopToShop.com, along with the box that I just opened, are uh, these three of the winner tins. These are uh, Entei, Suicune, and Raikou. And these tins are geared more toward the collector than the player. Instead of one, these tins each come with two uh, collectible cards. They're not very good cards for the game, but they all look great, and they even feature some shiny Pokemon. For those of you guys who play the games, shiny Pokemon, they're basically just really rare versions of regular Pokemon that have slightly different coloration than a regular one. So, I'll show you guys a little bit about that as I open each of them. And to make this video a little bit more interesting, I am going to pit these three legendary dogs, legendary beasts, whatever you want to call them, against each other. These each come with four packs. I'm going to open the packs, and whichever legendary dog opens the best four packs uh, wins the battle. They're obviously the best of the three. So, without further ado, let's put it to the test. Alright, let's start with my personal favorite of the three legendary dogs, and that's Entei. Alright, so, tins come with, if you pop out, they come with the shiny Entei, and this is a completely unique card. I've never before been released. Again, it's not very playable, but it's really cool looking. It has the same silver holographic background as the Prime cards do. Then you also get a regular Entei. It's not shiny. This is actually a reprint of the Entei from Secret Wonders. So I don't even know if he's playable. But he has the glass hollow foil that started with Rotom from the Rising Rivals set. So Entei from... This reprint Ente and the shiny Ente, both completely unique cards. Now, here's one other thing I wanted to talk about. There's an insert in here that says, uh, what is a shiny Pokemon? A shiny Pokemon is a very rare Pokemon that has a different color than normal. Look for special shiny Pokemon in upcoming expansions. Now, I believe that this means that we're going to get shiny reprints of cards that already exist in our next set. As Pokemon released, our next set is going to be called Call to Legends. Now, if you guys, uh, for a few of you guys who played back in the EX era, I think this set's going to be just like the set that we got in, uh, with EX Power Keepers. Power Keepers, its title kind of suggested that it was keeping the power. Call to Legends is suggesting, like, it's going to call back to the Legends. I got that off Poke Beach. But this shiny thing is another thing that kind of proves that we're going to get another reprint set. Now, for you, those of you guys who don't know, back in Power Keepers, the set was released because Diamond and Pearl had just come out in Japan, and we didn't have the Diamond and Pearl video games out, and we didn't want to release the set before the games came out. So they released Power Keepers, which basically just released a bunch of cards that already existed with new artwork, and a few English exclusive cards. Now, for those of you guys keeping track, we only have about 20, 30 tops cards in the Japanese sets from their Heart Gold Soul Silver sets that aren't ones that we've gotten already. You can't really make a pack out of about 30 cards, and I don't think that we're going to get any black and white cards in our next release. So what I think they're going to do is they're going to take those 30 cards and put them in the set, and then they're going to include shiny Pokemon of different cards that we haven't gotten yet. Now, I'm not sure who they're going to make shiny, but I think it'd be really cool to get some shiny primes. But, just uh, something I noticed, and I'm pretty sure that it's going to happen. I uh, will put my predictions to the test in the future. Alright, so, let's get to the packs. These holiday tins, they come with uh, one Platinum, one Arceus, one Soul Silver. And one Heart Gold Soul Silver Undaunted. So, um, I guess I'll open them from oldest to newest. Starting with Platinum. Platinum, um, any kind of SP tools would be great. Oh, I guess anything could be great, honestly, out of four packs. I'm not expecting too much. So, let's see if Ente can get a good start. Alright, we've got uh, Mary, Armor Fossil, Torkoal, Perugly G, Vulpix, Pokeball, Memory Berry, 
Jeez, three trainers. Energy gain. So it's already a good card. Looking good for Ente. Comey Reverse. And Gyarados G is the rare. Energy gain is a completely playable card. I just actually uh, sold four in my eBay auction, so getting one of them back is pretty nice. Alright, now for the Arceus pack. We've got Geodude. Ponyta, Wingle, Beedrill G, Krogunk, Bronzong, Ultimate Zone, Ghastly. Alright, we got the Dark Arceus, and Pichu is the rare. The Arceus is kind of cool, and the Ultimate Zone will be good if I ever run the Arceus deck. That's not terrible either. Alright, now on to the Heart Gold Soul Silver pack. Alright, we got one of the new fire energies. Spinarak. Giraffe Rig. Paris. Hoot Hoot. Pokeball. Bill. Metapod. Reverse Donfam. And the bottom half of ho -Oh Legend. Alright. So all three of these packs have been great so far. And to end it with Undaunted. Eevee. Togepi. Pikachu. Doduo. Gligar. Reverse Nestle, Sneasel, Drift Blim, Jolteon. I just realized that I forgot to reorder the cards in this pack. <laughs> Muck, and Scyther. Uh, Drift Blim's a great Mewtwo and Machamp counter. So again, all four of these packs are pretty solid. Entei's off to a good start. Alright, next up is Suicune. Again, another interesting thing, this little insert, talking about the shiny Pokemon, has the exact same thickness of a Pokemon card. So, you can almost call this an exclusive card. It's definitely, like, not a cheap paper insert, I guess. Here's the two cards. I think the, the shiny Suicune looks awesome. And then here's the Glass Hollow Suicune. Both really cool promos for collectors. All right, and onto the picks. Old Venus, Platinum Arceus, Soul Silver, and then on Doctor. All right, I won't forget this time. All right, we've got Carnivine. Honchkrow G, Mistruvis, Psyduck, Skull Fossil, Shieldon, Zangoose, Grottle, Reverse Grimer, and Beautifly. So that one's not the best, but let's see if Suicune can catch up. We've got Trico, Gulpin, Bagon, Baneri, Geodude, Shellgon, Buffer Piece, another Ultimate Zone, <laughs> the same Dark Arceus, and Tangrowth Level X. Tangrowth Level X. So this was an awesome pack. Definitely puts it back in contending. And since it's uh, only two of these packs can actually have level X's, that's a pretty good pull. On the Heart Gold Soul Silver.
We've got Drowsy, Meowth, the new Psychic, Sandshrew, Sunkern, Mantine, Parasect, Professor Oak's new theory, Reverse Wigglytuff, and a Hollow Jumpluff. Not bad also. Fortunately, Jumpluff isn't nearly as good as it was last year, but still a pretty good card. And the last one, we got Makita, Scyther, Oddish, Murkrow, Slugma, Gloom, Flower Shop Lady, Sableye, Reverse Hollow Muck, and a Hollow Blossom. So again, awesome pulls of Suicune. It's definitely going to make it a tough call between him and Entei. And the last one is Raikou. Again, just like you look at the two promo cards that we got in this one. Raikou's a pretty cool shiny. He's got a yellow tail instead of a purple one. Kind of a darker face. Just another really cool card. And on to his four packs. Starting with Platinum. We've got Turtwig, Torchic, Chansey, Lapras, Tauros, Vigoroth, Silcoom, Shieldon, Reverse Hall Life Herb, and Bastiodon. So again, like Suicune, not the best Platinum pack. Under the Arceus. Let's see if I can pull a third Dark Arceus. We got Burmy, Beedrill G, Wingle, Trico, Gulpin, Buffer Piece, the third Ultimate Zone, Lucky Egg, Reverse Grovile, and Hariyama. Alright, on the Heart Gold Full Silver. And it's looking like Raikou's going to have to pull a prime to compete with the other dogs right now. So let's see how it goes. We got Cinequil, Sunkern, Slowpoke, Execute, Fanfy, Miltank, Pokeball, Dunsparce, Reverse Hollow Pokegear, and Ampharos is the rare. And to end it for him, it's the Undaunted pack. Rattata. Oddish. Murkrow. Pinecone. Houndur. Muck. Metal Energy, Slowbro, Reverse Hall of Vaporeon, and Tropius. So I'll pull out the best cards from each of these packs, and we'll see who's the winner. Alright, so on to the test. Now, as you guys could probably tell, and again, this is at a playability standpoint. Not necessarily by rarity or art or anything, but just um, how competitive the polls were out of these. Either way, even if you're a collector or a competitor, Raikou's kind of out of the race. His rares were uh, Hariyama, Bastiodon, Ampharos, and Tropius. None of those hollow. Um, the only other real good like cards outside of that were the Ultimate Zone. Since I got three out of these packs, I got enough for my Arceus deck now. And uh, the Reverse Hollow Life Herb's kind of cool. 
So, sorry Raikou, you're out of this one. So, it ends up coming down to Suicune and Entei. Here's Entei. He came with uh, the Arceus, Driftblim, Gyarados, Pichu, all his rares, and also the bottom half of the Hull Legend. As far as playable cards go, he's got the Ultimate Zone and the Energy Gain. And competing with Entei is the Suicune, who got a beautiful eye. Same Dark Arceus, Hollow Blossom, Hollow Jumpluff, Tangrowth Level X, Ultimate Zone, and Professor Oak's New Theory. So, the best of the three. As much as I love Entei, I think Suicune did slightly better. Level X's are harder to get than the Legends, and just came with a lot of great stuff. Once again, my packs came from StopToShop.com, and you can use the coupon code prof it no exclamation point, all capitals, and you'll get a 10% discount on your entire order. Thanks for watching this pack opening video, and I hope you guys have a nice holiday season with lots of great polls. I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching Profit. Peace.